Take a look around you. Can you see your tax dollars at work? Police officers, paramedics, residential waste collection, water supply, health programs, and traffic control signals. These are just some of the services provided by the Regional Municipality of Durham. Durham Region was created on January 1, 1974 under the Regional Municipality of Durham Act 1973. This geographical area was named after John George Lambton or Lord Durham who was Governor General of British North America in 1838. Formed from 21 local municipalities in the counties of Ontario, Northumberland and Durham, Durham Region is an upper tier level of government. The lower tier includes eight local area municipalities, the cities of Oshawa and Pickering, the towns of Ajax and Whitby, the municipality of Clarington, and the townships of Brock, Scugog, and Uxbridge. Above the municipal level is the provincial government, with the Government of Canada, or federal level, at the top. Home to more than 600,000 residents, Durham Region covers about 2,500 square kilometers, making it the largest geographical jurisdiction in the Greater Toronto Area. Stretching from Pickering in the west, Newtonville in the east, and Lake Ontario in the south, Durham Region reaches as far north as Lake Simcoe. Durham Region is home to businesses, manufacturing, farms, and urban neighborhoods. There's a college and a university, five hospitals, and a cancer center. Attractions include gardens, sports complexes, historical sites, zoos, conservation areas, museums, and many interesting and picturesque downtowns. The transportation network consists of an airport, a deep sea harbor, railway lines, and major highway routes. With so many offerings, it's important that everyone is aware of the region's priorities. That's why in 2003, Regional Council asked residents of Durham Region as well as regional employees to help develop a community strategic plan. The result was a document that guides regional operations, focusing on the issues most important to our communities. In 2009, the region sought further public input before releasing its updated Durham Region Strategic Plan, which is entitled, Growing Together. Most of the focus remained the same, with the economy, strong communities and the environment remaining as key factors. The cooperative work of our citizens, community organizations, businesses and other levels of government, and the region's approximately 5,000 staff members all helped to ensure the priorities of this plan remain at the forefront. It was important to seek public input into this plan, especially since a large number of programs and services are directly funded through property taxes. Property taxes remain the primary source of municipal revenue. Outside of these funds, the region also collects user rate fees for services such as municipal water and sanitary sewer. In addition, some revenue comes from the province, and there are times when specific projects qualify for federal grants. Property tax guidelines are set when Durham Regional Council passes its yearly business plans and budgets. Under legislation, the decisions that guide our community are officially made by the 28 elected members of Durham Regional Council and their leader, the Regional Chair, during their council meetings at Regional Headquarters, which is located in the town of Whitby. Regional Councillors are individuals who serve as either Mayor or Municipal Councillor in their local area municipality. It is these individuals who choose the head of the regional council or the regional chair during the first council meeting following each municipal election which takes place every four years. There are eight regional councillors for the city of Oshawa, four for the city of Pickering and town of Whitby, three from the town of Ajax and the municipality of Clarington, and two from the townships of Brock, Scugog and Uxbridge. While council is the governing body, it is staff of the organization who implements these decisions. The head of this organization is the chief administrative officer. As head of the administrative side of the organization, all department heads report into this individual while he, in turn, reports to Durham Regional Council. The office of the CAO encompasses corporate communications, the Durham Emergency Management Office, and corporate policy and strategic initiatives. Corporate communications protects and enhances the region's reputation through media relations, crisis communications and strategic communications, in addition to overseeing internal communications. 
The Durham Emergency Management Office coordinates with regional departments and local municipalities to ensure an effective state of preparedness, response, and recovery in the event of any natural or human-caused disaster within our region. Policy employees help staff and regional councils stay informed about and respond to legislative, policy, and organizational changes. This portfolio also includes accessibility and climate change. The Clerk's Department carries out the statutory duties of the Clerk as outlined in the Municipal Act and other Provincial Acts. This Department acts as Secretariat to the Regional Council and its committees, manages regional records and archives programs, and coordinates requests for information and privacy complaints under the Municipal Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. Departmental staff working within the corporate call center and public front counter is often the first point of contact for inquiries about the region and its services. This department is also responsible for organizing official regional events. Corporate Information Services provides information technology and computer support to the organization. This group plays a role in regulatory compliance, manages the networks required for email and regional websites, oversees wireless connectivity, provides technology security, and supports computer programs required by staff. The Durham Regional Police Service, or DRPS, is a leader in community safety. They protect the citizens of Durham Region every day through a variety of crime prevention programs and investigative services. DRPS employs a hard-working team of police officers, civilians, auxiliary officers, special constables and volunteers who help keep Durham safe. They promote safe and healthy behavior and prevent injuries and property damage by patrolling the streets removing dangerous drivers from the roads, and educating adults and children about safety. The use of leading-edge technology is vital in fighting crime. The DRPS was one of the first municipal police services in Canada to use a helicopter, and their computer technology is second to none. Durham Police operate out of five main community police offices and patrol our communities 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Economic Development and Tourism Department acts as a liaison among area municipalities, local businesses, and educational institutions to promote Durham Region as an ideal place to grow a successful business and enjoy a high quality of life. Business attraction, retention, and expansion remain the highest priority for the department, which works with local and foreign governments and industries to further promote Durham's strengths including its emerging creative economy and its reputation as Ontario's energy capital. A number of key sectors including innovative technologies, agriculture, tourism and film are promoted by staff who develop goal-oriented programs to oversee various studies, develop key partnerships, marketing campaigns and investment inquiries. The Finance Department is responsible for maintaining the region's business planning cycle and budget process to ensure efficient financing and delivery of regional programs and services. In cooperation with other regional departments, finance ensures that the Durham Region's strategic plan objectives can be prudently implemented within a sound fiscal framework while focusing on program and infrastructure priorities. The region's financial strengths are consistently recognized by the investment community, as indicated by Durham's long-standing AAA credit rating. The Health Department promotes and protects the health of Durham Region residents. Responsibilities of the Health Department include answering questions about public health, determining dental needs for school-aged children, and managing vaccination programs to help ensure children are up-to-date on immunizations. Staff visits restaurants and businesses to ensure food is properly stored, handled, and prepared. They also work hard to prevent, reduce, and eliminate infectious diseases while monitoring for new ones. Land ambulance services are also housed within the Health Department as Emergency Medical Services, or EMS. EMS is one of the largest ambulance services in Ontario, offering a team of paramedics who make sure emergency medical treatment is received quickly. The Human Resources Department provides a wide spectrum of services to its employees via occupational health, safety and wellness, employee benefits, recruitment, training, human resource policies and maintaining harmonious relations with its bargaining units. The department strives to be innovative and ensure that Durham Region is an employer of choice. The Legal Department provides legal opinions and advice to regional council and staff and appears as legal counsel in courts and tribunals. 
Staff also conducts hearings, drafts contracts, prepares bylaws, initiates civil proceedings and prosecutions, and represents the region in all property matters and transactions. This department oversees the delivery of administrative, prosecution, and court support functions under the Provincial Offenses Act. In addition, legal manages the administration and prosecution of charges laid by police and other enforcement agencies under provincial statutes and municipal bylaws. The Planning Department is responsible for the Durham Regional Official Plan, which guides decisions on how and where our cities and towns grow and which lands are protected for agriculture and natural environment features. The plan is reviewed regularly to ensure it satisfies our region's needs while respecting provincial policies and plans. To implement the vision of the official plan and manage growth, planning engages in long-range land use planning, transportation planning and research, and development approvals including local municipal official plan amendments, plans of subdivision condominiums, and land division. Citizen engagement is facilitated through input from advisory committees on agriculture, environment, and trails. Social Services is the region's largest department, providing a variety of services to residents across our region. Social Services provides financial assistance and employment services to residents in need, child care and behavior management programs, in addition to counseling, mediation, and specialized group services for individuals, families, and employers. Staff administers social housing programs, including the waitlist for rent subsidies and property management functions for Durham Regional Local Housing Corporation buildings, while also supporting people experiencing homelessness. Other responsibilities include emergency social services and four long-term care homes, Fairview Lodge, Hillsdale Estates and Terraces, and Lakeview Manor that offer 24-hour nursing care and medical services, as well as three adult day programs. Durham Region Transit, or DRT, was the result of a January 2006 amalgamation of transit services from across all eight local area municipalities. All new buses are accessible and environmentally compliant. Plus, bike racks on every bus allow for a combination of cycling and transit within our communities. To ensure accessibility, Specialized Services offers door-to-door -door transportation for individuals with disabilities. Boarding has also been made easier through the use of low floor, kneeling and ramp features which make doors level with the sidewalk. The Works Department provides numerous essential services to residents and businesses within Durham Region with many of them impacting our daily lives. Works staff provide municipal water and sanitary sewer services, water efficiency programs and the planning, design and maintenance of treatment plants, water mains, reservoirs and pumping stations. Work staff also manage residential waste, recycling and composting programs, and waste management facilities. Responsibilities also include traffic signals, road line markings and signs, and the planning and design of the transportation network along with maintenance of regional roads and bridges. Plus, staff approve new servicing plans for neighborhoods and businesses. Internally, the Works Department looks after the region's many facilities and satellite locations to ensure a safe and comfortable working environment for all staff. As you can see, many of the services provided by Durham Region make up the basic infrastructure that is needed for our community to grow, develop and function. The Regional Municipality of Durham's responsibilities and services are designed to serve our communities and reflect what the people of our region and their elected officials feel is important. Decisions are made strategically because they impact and shape the community and generations of tomorrow. It's because of this community spirit that Durham Region continues to be a great place to grow, live, work and play. To find out more about the region of Durham, visit our website at www.durham.ca.